We do expect some clouds around early next week for the Great American Eclipse. Right now, the 1 p.m. cloud cover map looks like it's more cloudy to the northwest of Birmingham than to the southeast. And there may be some areas in East Alabama where we get a pretty good view of the partial eclipse here across uh, the state. But the farther north you go, the more likely it is that we're going to run into clouds and rain. In fact, here's what it would look like at roughly 1240 p.m. Showers around Coleman and Hamilton up to Florence and Huntsville, but from Birmingham and Shelby County southeast toward Troy, especially and Dothan a little bit better view there as we approach our peak partial eclipse, which would be about 88% in Birmingham. We may get some holes in the clouds just enough to be able to see it and then into the uh, toward the end of it. The clouds are still thin over East Alabama, but they may begin to thicken up with a few more showers over West Alabama come Monday afternoon. Too bad it wasn't today. What a beautiful spring like day it has been. This was up in Gadsden, the Memorial Bridge over the Coosa River. David Graves sharing that with us. It's chilly now with this cold snap that we've had here in the first part of April, which is pretty common in the spring months. Frost possible tomorrow morning and Saturday morning, and then we get into the 70s, but some strong storms are back in the picture toward the middle of next week. Well, here's WVTM 13 live Doppler radar, and we don't have any rain around here now. It's in the low 60s north of Birmingham. 71 at Utah, so quite the change here from Arab and Coleman to Tuscaloosa, Centerville and Utah, Birmingham, Pell City, Alabaster sitting at 66 degrees, Aniston's at 65. We're going to drop pretty quickly and get into the 50s before midnight, low 40s tomorrow morning after the sun comes up. But I think a lot of us are going to wind up between 35 and 40 for a low and those spots that get below 38 could see some scattered frost and then we're up around 65 by tomorrow afternoon. So where's frost more likely? Gadsden, Sneed, Center, Coleman, Pinson, Double Springs, Jasper, Fayette into Hamilton. Might even get a spot or two over eastern Shelby County and Talladega County where it's cold enough for the frost early in the morning. But once the sun comes up, it warms quickly. 64 by 3 p.m. and then still holding in the mid 60s through 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Looking ahead into the weekend, highs will be in the 60s on Saturday, 70s on Sunday. And then next week we have impact weather coming back in on Wednesday. But even ahead of that, some showers are likely on Tuesday. Potentially some strong thunderstorms coming in Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, and some rain potentially lasts even into Thursday as all that is coming through. So that's something we're going to keep a very close watch on. Severe weather threat seems to be a bit iffy at this moment for Alabama, but things can change pretty dramatically. So like I said, we'll keep you posted. For the eclipse, maybe a bit of a break in the clouds here and there, but at least it's going to be warmer. Eyes will be in the 70s after this cool snap ends this weekend.